Good morning. I'm actually turning on the camera a little later than uh, I expected. I've been up since five. Luna is super happy. Right, Luna? Right, Luna? You're happy. I vacuumed Luna. <laughs> Today's trash day. She's so happy. Today's trash day. So I'm collecting the trash from all around the house. I have the waste basket from both bathrooms, from the office, uh, the kitchen, and I wanted to share with you uh, the trash, but uh, yeah, that's how that happened, vacuuming the dog, because I also vacuum the rug that we have in the living room, and then I empty out the canister from the vacuum into the trash. And as soon as she heard the vacuum, she went running to the living room and I had to vacuum her. I'll hopefully show you how that happens, uh, when I brush Luna before her bath, either today or tomorrow. I still haven't decided when I'm going to bathe her, but you, you'll get to see it. Anyway, let me show you how much trash we have in our home. This is it. This is the kitchen waste basket, and that is the main or the master bathroom waste basket. I threw in there the office waste basket as well as the guest bathroom waste basket. So that's three waste baskets in one. And this is the kitchen waste basket, obviously, with Luna's hair. This is from the carpet, the house, and off her. So don't think that <laughs> I don't clean the house. That's just, you know, if you have a husky, you know. So this is it. And then I have one more bag in the freezer, which is our compost bag, because there is such a huge fly problem in Hawaii. We don't really throw that much trash away because I've told you that we've been trying to reduce single-use items in our home as well as plastic items so really this is our week's worth of trash in our home I am a little peeved at myself because it is my turn to pick up the dog poop in the yard and last night I thought well I could always do it in the morning when I take out the trash and it's raining I can't pick up the dog poop and we do this twice weekly this means I'm gonna have a lot of dog poop until they come pick up the trash next week again. This is what you get for leaving things for later, right? I just combined the trash cans or the waste bins and I wanted to show you. The bags aren't even full. This is a 13 gallon bag. This is uh, the actual trash from the two bathrooms, the office and the kitchen. And this is the compost bag that we keep in the freezer. And look at all the space that was still left. So we don't even have that much trash. It looks like my husband threw in another bag. So we have three bags and a filter for the uh, fish tank. There's a box in there. That was it. It's actually three bags this week and that box. Um, obviously there is dog poop in the yard, but I can't pick it up because it's raining. It's all wet and I'm not going to pick up mushy poop. Anywho, today I'm doing things a little bit differently because I have a doctor's appointment at 2 in Honolulu, which is quite a quite a ways from here and that's usually when I upload my YouTube video as well around two-ish so all my other chores are done I was just waiting for the fish to wake up the tank turns on at around 8 so I have still have to feed the fish and water the plants but my vlog is actually done like I just have to review it create a thumbnail and upload it to YouTube the dogs are fed the bed is made as I mentioned I'm taking out the trash so the floor is swiffer I even vacuumed the rug and the furniture in the living room. I still have to put the dishes away and mm. and uh, load the dishwasher with the new dishes, but otherwise, everything that I usually do around noon or late morning is already done. As you can tell, I took a shower, got ready, because I had that doctor's appointment. And right now, I'm just gonna make myself a very light lunch. I don't have any leftovers from last night because I had a hamburger. I'm just gonna do something light and quick. Okay, backtracking a little bit because I didn't get a chance to, oh, I gotta filter some water, record anything while I was doing everything because I was in a bit of a rush and I needed both hands all the entire time. If you've seen all my videos already, you know that I'm dealing with a health insurance issue for a family member who is taking a daily medication that he's about to run out of, etc., etc. And I got a phone call at 9 o'clock on the dot. It was actually an automated call, which is why it was so perfectly on the dot. Pretty much asking back for all the medical supplies that this pharmacy provided because this person is no longer their patient. But that's precisely what we are trying to 
straighten out that this person actually still is their patient. So I got to talk to somebody on the phone and I swear, I don't understand how this works. How is it possible that I talk to a customer representative, I talk to health insurance, I talk to the patient coordinator, it's been elevated or escalated to management, and now this person, who I don't know what department this person is from, is telling me, I had no idea that patients in this location are now being serviced by another pharmacy. I had no idea that this person is our patient, but inactive, but might still be our patient. And this person is telling me that the notes in the system are so complicated that they're difficult to decipher. And I'm just agreeing on the other side. Yeah, yeah, I know it is complicated. So we're kind of laughing about it. But on the inside, I'm a little outraged. How is it possible that at this point in time, after so much conversation, some people still look at this person's account and say, I don't understand what's going on. This person's not really our patient. Coincidentally though, half an hour before that phone call, I had a text message that I hadn't seen from the person I talked to yesterday, my dog is barking, from the person I talked with yesterday who is a representative of the manufacturer of the medication my family member is on, and the message said that everything has been sorted out and the pharmacy that had actually just called me uh, had agreed to provide the medication for my family member and I had to reply, apparently it's gonna take a while to get into their system because I just literally got a call saying that this person is no longer their patient so they need the medical supplies back. Like, so that was phone call number one. Phone call number two came in while I was getting ready and it's the family that was gonna come over that other day I told you about. I was cleaning the house and everything. I mopped and whatever. And they're gonna try to pass by to pick up the gift my husband has for them. They're going away gift. And unfortunately I had to turn them away because I was getting ready at that moment and now I'm making a quick lunch so then I can inhale it and be on my way because I'm going to have about a 45 minute drive ahead of me to then be at that appointment at 2, not really know what time I'm going to come back and then just go straight to my kid's house for the tutoring session at 4. Hopefully I'll make it on time and I told them I'm going to be home after 6. And I'm just getting my water ready. As you know, I don't drink tap water or bottled water because we're trying to avoid buying plastic and one-time use items. So no bottled water. And then the filter here, I don't really trust that much. It still tastes like tap water. So we use the zero water filter. This is not a paid promotion or anything. It's just sharing what we use. While that water boils, I'm gonna get my purse and I actually forgot to fill out the papers I had printed out last night, one of those nights. So I actually sent out that email to the families I told you about. I sent it out this morning at 6 a.m. because I was also waiting on confirmation from someone else about some information that I don't know that I can share or not. So I just emailed that out this morning with what I know that I could share and when I get confirmation on the other information, I guess I'll send out another one. This is a new provider for me. I had a whole team of doctors at our last duty station, hashtag military family life, always getting new doctors. So I had a whole team of doctors. Luna, leave it. My, I swear my dogs go outside just to eat the entire yard. As I was saying, I had a whole team of doctors. I had my dermatologist, urologist, gastroenterologist, primary care, uh, gynecologist. Oh my gosh, I had everybody. I had my whole team. And then you move and you gotta start over. So, so far I only have a primary and a gastroenterologist. So now I'm going to this new provider. And well, if you're familiar with paperwork, you gotta fill out a whole bunch of forms. doctor's offices in Hawaii. So pretty. All right, I hope you can hear me. I have my headset on so I don't have to talk that loudly. Doctor's appointment is done. I'm going home now and depending on traffic I'll either go straight to my tutoring session 
or I'll have a chance to get home and maybe have a snack <laughs> before I go work with the kid for an hour. It was okay. I love this new provider. She's so sweet. I'm definitely coming back to her. It's hard to find a good doctor nowadays. Sometimes they just go patient after patient, not really caring. This one made a connection, which I really appreciate. This was so stupid of me. I remember I parked in a red floor and I don't know which red floor it was. Let's see if it's here. Nope. Now I don't know where I parked my car. Fantastic. But you know what? I'm gonna focus on the beautiful things. Look at Waikiki. Oh, good grief. Look at the traffic. Oh, no. I found it. The problem was that the floor below the one I'm on is red and the next one is blue. So that's all that happened. I'm right in the corner. So that's the other thing. Because I was on the red floor, and just went slightly up to the next floor. I thought I was on that floor, but never mind. I found my car, that's all that matters. Did you see that traffic? I don't think I'm making it home on time. Let's see what I find on the road. If you're familiar with rush hour or Puerto Rico rush hour after work, you know, that five o'clock uh, rush hour, uh, near Atorre or on your way to Caguas or if you live in Hawaii or have been in Hawaii and know the rush hour that goes from Honolulu to the center of the island in the afternoon that's where I am right now do you see this I'm actually on a main road or avenue right now that's leading to the highway and if the clip from the hospital actually worked then you saw that the highway was actually just bumper to bumper this is me for the next probably hour or so. I already messaged the mom who I'm supposed to see at four, and I told her that if her son wants to do his other homework before the English one, or if he wants to eat or play or do anything, I'm not gonna be there for a good hour, or maybe more. So. You know you're doing well with a child when he runs outside the house just to say bye to you and it's raining. We had a good session, as I always say. You might be having a crummy day or a crummy moment, but when a child progresses and learns and you just have that wonderful moment with them, it's all worth it. After careful evaluation of all the things that I have to do and my pending responsibilities for the coming days, I made the executive decision to take a break. So I made some popcorn. I'm gonna go to the couch. There is absolutely, whoops, what did I do? There you go. There's absolutely no rule against this. It's actually good for you to practice self-care. Lali, vete a comer. So I'm just gonna distract myself a little bit before I get to everything else because everything else is taxes and an office I have to call tomorrow for my $1,500 medical bill. And I have to make another phone call regarding the family member's uh, health insurance pharmacy issue. I have some record keeping to do about my students and the one I tutor. Everything is just work, work, work and responsibilities and I don't really feel like doing anything else today. So I'm gonna take a break and then I'll simply prepare the things that I need to do tomorrow because obviously I can't call offices at this hour. Get comfy on the couch with my popcorn and my doggie is on her way. She will be here any second. I wasn't kidding. She's my shadow. Anybody else? Have I forgotten to tell you that I have the sweetest, cutest dogs on the planet? I know my vlog is not about reducing waste and it's not about saving the planet or anything like that, but as a homemaker, I do want to incorporate this somehow into my vlog uh, without making it the main focus. Now, th since today was trash day, I thought this would be a perfect chance to get started on this. I want to show you how much trash we produce in a week and how. So right now, I just put the only 13 gallon bag in use in the kitchen waste basket, which currently has the popcorn bag that I used a little while ago. 
and the kit the master bathroom waste basket doesn't have a bag and it is disinfected so it is sitting in the kitchen but it is disinfected and yes we still use Lysol and Clorox wipes for bathroom stuff because we haven't found a hygienic enough reusable way to disinfect the bathroom without, you know, just mixing that up with the house towels and just, yeah. So we, we're still working on that one, but that's the only place we use the single use disinfectant sheets. So this is clean. And the guest bathroom waste basket also doesn't get a bag because really the entire week all it had was two Clorox disinfecting sheets. The office did have a little bit more trash, but we're cleaning out all of our documents, so uh, there was gonna be trash. But I'm gonna share with you every day how much trash I actually put into my wastebasket because there was a friend of my husband's who actually reached out to us one of those few times that I mentioned about reducing waste in the home, and she said that they actually throw out one 13-gallon bag each day, and I believe it's either a family of two or three. So right now it's a family of two with two dogs and a fish tank, I don't think the fish tank really produces any waste except for the filter that he had to swap out. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Tonight is super chill. I can actually do work while I'm sitting in the living room watching TV because I don't need to focus on what I'm doing. And I don't have my class, the one with the little boy I'm teaching how to read. Uh, I don't have that until Thursday, so tomorrow, still pretty good. I'm gonna keep cleaning up in the kitchen, kinda have it ready for, before bed. That way I don't have to worry about it tomorrow morning and then get all anxious and ah, let me clean up before they get here. So I'm going to finish this up and then head over to the living room. Oh, I got a little chilly tonight with the rain and the temperature drop. It's just not Hawaii. This doesn't feel like Hawaii. But anyway, my doggies are ready for bed, as am I. Uh, Luna actually got comfy with her little teddy bears, a little elephant. She absolutely loves it, takes it everywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed the information about waste reducing. If you're interested in seeing more, please let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to share things that work for us and things that work for me as a chronically ill person and going about my day in a very productive way. So I'm always happy to share my experiences. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I will see you all tomorrow. Hope you guys have a very restful night.